Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video about MLB The Show 21 on our first day since it got released. I'm going to show you guys everything that's new in franchise mode and then I'm going to be coming out with a second video about rebuilding a franchise, so rebuilding the worst team and then I'm going to move my way up to the best team eventually and probably throwing in a couple challenge videos in between there. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. So starting off with franchise mode, what's new? Very similar except you don't have the side tabs, you can't go left and right. Uh, everything is on this one page now. You can play the next game. You have your calendar here. Uh, looks fairly different from the other one. The wins and losses look different as well. Uh, there's a little bit more data going on in this one as well. You can see, um, you know, different stats of the pitcher and some other stuff. You can go over to the scouting tab and here are all the players that are going to be in this year's draft class. Um, the reason I'm talking about this stuff because most people do know about this but since it's the first year on Xbox some people might not know so you go over here this person isn't scouted so their attributes are going to be way off um, it shows that they are a 70 overall right now so if, the, if they were fully scouted say they were fully scouted and he was a 70 overall right now that means that he would have a high floor for talent so he's going to start off really close to the major league level and he also has an 80 potential now all of them say 80 at the top that's just the max that it goes it's scaled on the I think it's like 20 to 80 range so he has a lot of potential that can mean that he could go up to a 99 he could be a 80 he could be a 90 He's somewhere in between 80 and 99, uh, which is the 80 potential. And then the floor is the overall, which they are right now. On the other side, you see 2022 is the MLB expected time of arrival. That just shows what year they are expected to be in the MLB and what year they will be most productive. Um, obviously, they'll be more productive if they develop more, but it shows that with the attributes that they have, they'll be able to play in the MLB at that time. Uh, so, and then on the bottom left you can see where they hit the ball so this guy is more of a pull hitter because he hits it to left field 48% of the time center field 32% of the time and then 20% to right field and then as you can see the green is the scouted and the blue is the current for the attributes and then in the top right it shows you where their hot spots are in the hitting zone their injury risk how fast they are on the 60 yard dash where they're born hitter tendency secondary positions age height weight all that fun stuff for prospects and then over here you have your scouts um, which will be scouting these players and then the fully green bars next to the prospects is um if they're fully scouted or not so this guy's fully scouted he has an 80 potential so you know he's going to be a good player in the major leagues at some point he has an mlb expected time of 2023 so he could um be in the major leagues in two years from now he has some decent secondary positions but his floor is lower than the last guy so that's why he's an extra year behind uh going into the next thing you can review sponsorships um these are just things that make your team money so right now i have only one since the game just dropped it is two thousand five hundred dollars per strikeout so every time i get a strikeout in this game uh, my team gets some money and it even shows you how much you earn this week it didn't show you that in previous um the shows so that's a very cool feature that they added that's new and it's a good way to see more about where your money goes and how to manage it the budget is really different now because you can now see your surplus and available budget it's more easier to see in the last one it was by week i think so it was a little bit harder to see but now you can see your projected payroll projected revenue how much you're going to make how much your budget is um, so that's pretty cool over here you have your trade block so if you press on it you have all your players on your team if you press on them and a green check mark shows that just shows that you're putting them on the trade block and teams will be more aggressive to put a trade offer in for those players so if you want to trade someone put them in there if you over here on the right side uh you just it shows where you are in the whole mlb rank wise for one position and the green check mark shows where you want to upgrade so if you are in a trade talk with a team they'll be more likely to offer you a player in the position that you were looking for um, to make a deal happen the trade talks is basically just trading um, so you have all your players you have players on the other team who you can pick up uh, it shows you what they're seeking it shows you what you're seeking if you add a player it shows the budget so Baltimore will not be able to take Mookie Betts because he makes too much money and it shows you what your salary or your budget would look like um, after getting rid of Mookie Betts right there so that's pretty cool uh, they actually fixed the trading system it was sort of broken before uh, there were some things with the contracts if the person was on a small contract one year um, but they had a lot of money the next year 
um so it was like messed up like that but they fixed it so the trade values are more even um just simple things like that will make trading easier over here you can manage your roster same as always it just shows you all your players if you haven't seen this before you can press on a player you can edit them uh their general motions and sounds equipment and even their stats um so that's something that if you want to change a player if you don't think that his potential or something is right you can always change that you can release them move them down remove them from the 40 man roster and designate for assignment so that's basically all you can do there here you have a depth chart which they added uh this is really cool actually because it shows where everything is and not only that i'll get to another part later that's super cool um so the little red things next to the players shows that they are a top prospect within your organization and possibly the entire mlb um so that's pretty cool the blue things show that the person is in a contract year so they're going to be looking for money at the end of the year i believe they even play a little bit better if they're in a contract year because they're looking for more money in the free agent market um so that's pretty cool it shows you where you are in the mlb for everything and the coolest thing that they added is you can see where your team is down the line so i can go to 2022 i can see where the team is going to be i can see that clayton kershaw Corey seager and some other players are off the team because of free agency i can always resign them but it doesn't predict the resign uh so this is what the team looks like and you can even go five years into the future so you can see what players to invest into so i know that cody hosey jacob amaya Dustin May, Gavin Lux, Michael Bush are all going to be big pieces in the organization. Uh, Kerbert Ruiz as well. So I know where to invest the money, where to invest the play time. Uh, if the player plays more, they get more attributes. They, If they play better, they get more attributes. I'll talk about that in a different thing. Uh, lineups, you can just move your lineups up and down. Same as always. Same for pitching rotation. Um, the training tab in case you guys didn't know this is just a place where you can focus an attribute for a player so if I say Mookie Betts can work on his bunting or his power I can just change it and he can work on different things so that's pretty cool uh, if you want to upgrade someone's attributes that's where to do it the GM goals uh, it shows you what your job security is and what your rating is uh, if you have contract um, if you have contract for general managers on uh, you can get fired from there so that's just something to look out for free agency at the start of the season there is some free agents available if you want to add to your team right away um, especially if it's a good team just looking to add uh, here you have Cespedes, Robertson, Jackie Bradley Jr., um, Shane Green, Jake Odorizzi, and others. It hasn't updated because Jackie Bradley Jr. is on Milwaukee now. And there's always look through here. If you are looking to rebuild, always look through here because sometimes there are prospects like these um, who have a high potential and they're only like 19 or something. So you can put them in the minors and they already have a lot of good attributes. Um, so that's definitely the something to look out for. Over here in the transactions tab, you can see the pending free agent, or not the free agents, the pending um, people on waivers. Um, and you can also see all the other moves that teams have made. You can search for players. You can see where everyone on your team came from, if they came from the draft, trades, or free agency. Uh, and then the rule book and then contracts for your coaches. So here's all your coaches. Uh, it's best to have a good farm director because they help develop your prospects faster So if you're looking to develop prospects faster definitely get an a attribute grade I just started with the Dodgers. So I have a B right now pitching coaches um, Hitting coaches uh, the Dodgers don't have the best I might look into getting some new ones and it also so shows you the years left on the contracts I don't know if the former MLB the show did that so that's definitely a good upgrade and it shows you your manager Dave Roberts and then over here you can see the league standings everyone's statistics the league leaders and stuff the awards all-star voting top prospects in your injured list so here are all the top prospects it could give you um, you know someone to go after as well so that's everything that's new in franchise mode like I said I'm going to be dropping another video today about rebuilding the worst team so be sure to check that out uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see because I'm going to be making a lot of MLB The Show content. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.